The attack in Plymouth was one of the worst mass shootings in UK history. On the 12th of August 2021, Jake Davison shot Stephen Washington, Kate Shepherd, Lee Martin, his three-year-old daughter Sophie and Jake's own mother Maxine before killing himself. Over the last five weeks, the jury has heard a lot of evidence, including that Jake Davidson had been obsessed with guns from a very young age. In 2018, he was given a shotgun licence, despite declaring that he had autism and Asperger's when applying. The police were also aware that he had a history of violence when he was granted the five-year licence. Today, the families of the victims accuse the police of giving Jake Davidson a licence to kill. The evidence that we have heard from Devon and Cornwall Police was that of a system that was a shambles from the top to the bottom. Those in charge of making decisions as to who should possess a gun had no training on how to do their job. There was a culture of granting people firearms licences against a background of serious concern. Davison's case was a prime example. The jury also heard how Jake Davison had his gun licence taken away from him in 2020 following the violent assault of a teenager. His gun licence was returned to him just five weeks before the killing. Since then, Devon and Cornwall Police have issued an apology for returning the gun to him. Well, I think Devon and Cornwall Police have done an awful lot of work over the course of the last 18 months to uh, make sure that uh, the circumstances in which Jake Davison got a gun couldn't happen again. But... I mean, um, you know, if you ask me, could this definitely happen? Or could I give a guarantee or an assurance that this definitely couldn't happen again? I mean, there are. Whilst we are confident that the, the steps that we put into place would mean that somebody like Jack Davison couldn't possess a firearm again, there are over forty thousand uh, firearm certificates in Devon and Cornwall. Following this investigation, the Independent Office for Police Conduct have issued a series of recommendations to strengthen firearm licensing controls.